What up YouTube? Today we have a new project series and what's a better way to start out a new project series than with an unboxing? So let's get right into it. So far I've got this on eBay and so far with the exterior of the packaging I'm really happy with the uh, packaging. Came with free coupons. That's always a benefit. Yeah, this packaging rocks. This went from an unboxing to an unbubbling video. Now I know what you're probably thinking, I don't need another project, and I agree. But for some reason I have a bad hot habit of hobby hopping. And there we go. It is an Amiga 500. So I've been watching a lot of 8-bit guys videos and it made me want to do a restore video, you know, restore a vintage computer. So originally I thought, well, maybe I'll do a Commodore. And I actually found a Commodore on Facebook Marketplace that I bargained the guy down. It came in the box had the power cable and it came with a cassette player and I bargained the guy down to $65 but um, it was missing a key from the keyboard and it was uh, untested he said he didn't have any way to test it but he had everything there to turn it on so I have a feeling he knew that it didn't work but uh, it ended up being that he kind of fibbed about where he lived like uh, the listing was in a different town than the address he gave me to meet up with them and it ended up being it was two hours away and I didn't feel like making the four hour round trip for that computer because I just didn't feel up to it plus I was thinking about it the Commodore 64 the type of games and programs that I want to play uh, because I'm a little younger than the Commodore 64 era um, I really didn't have any motivation to want to play those games. But on the other hand, um, you know, the Amiga 500 or DOS games, a lot of DOS games were converted over to the Amiga 500. It's the type of games that I like to play or am interested in playing. So I figured I would look at Amigas and Amigas have a large uh, user group still. Um, like they still make accelerator boards and a lot of projects evolved around Amigas. So I thought, and there's a lot of support for them, even though most of the support for them seems to be from Europe, not America. So I thought I would look at Amigas. So I saw this one for sale, just a computer. Um, it does not boot up. Just a computer does not boot up. It had one bid on it for $69.99. And I thought, well, I'll just put a bid on it for 70. And it had like 25 watchers and these things easily go over a hundred dollars, like $150. So I thought for sure that someone was going to outbid me. So I just put $70 down and bam, I won it. And it listed, it listed as physically in solid shape, just does not boot up. And it doesn't come with a 
no power adapter, nothing, just the computer. Oh yeah, and the guy also said on the listing, he said, does not boot up. He said, I swap, I tested the keyboard and the floppy disk drive and a working Amiga and both of them worked. And uh, he said it had a gray screen. And so then after I uh, won the bid, I was like, do you have any information to help me troubleshoot? And all I said was that he had three of them that he bought a while ago and had them in storage. And when he took them out, two of them worked. This one didn't. And he hasn't touched the board or anything. The only thing he did was took out the keyboard and floppy disk drive to try to troubleshoot if that was causing it not to boot. And he said that he put them in a working computer. They booted it and worked fine. Um, but this one doesn't boot. So, and he said it was a gray screen error, but I have a feeling that he might have plugged it into the uh, mono video output in the back. So let's take a tour of this. Um, the top, it looks like exactly what he said. It's in solid shape. I don't see any cracks. Um, let's check the back here. Yeah, I mean, it's a relatively clean unit model a500 um yeah oh yeah it's missing both trap doors the side door and the bottom trap door which uh i think i can 3d print that the plastic isn't that isn't yellowed that badly Yeah, it looks clean. Obviously, I would have had to open it up, but definitely the circuit board's in there. He says all the chips are on the board. The board hasn't been touched. It just won't boot up. So I figured this is a good, solid foundation to start a, an Amiga project. So um, I pretty much can't do anything right now because I don't have a power adapter or a video. And I'm going to make my own video adapter VGA. Well, not make my own, but I'm going to... I already bought one of those boards from China, those uh, arcade boards from China, which you'll be seeing in the future. And then I, I bought, a, I found on eBay for $8 the, a soldered power plug for the Amigas, and I'm going to use a ATX power supply. So yeah, there's pretty much nothing I can do now. I just had to wait for things to come in, and I'm probably going to keep it all in one video. So. On the next video, you'll see uh, everything came in.